Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word Is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay. This story here is an example of how people who are responsible for helping other people live better, feel better, get better, whether it be the medical industry, the pharmaceutical industry or whatever, how these people many times, many times abuse their powers, their positions, whether they get greedy, whether they're negligent or just all out evil. And these people, when they do these things, they cause major, major damage but they often get a slap on the wrist. Now, the state of Michigan just tried a white man by the name of Barry Caden or Cadden, okay? Now, this guy, Barry here, he's a former executive of a specialty pharmacy called New England Compounding Center. It's located in Farmingham, Massachusetts. Now, this special pharmacy, which is located in Massachusetts, this place, what they're responsible for is they make versions of medications that aren't available through larger drug makers. So they make specialty drugs or unique kind of drugs, okay? Now, in Barry's lab that they made these drugs, okay, his lab was an absolute mess. It was a nasty place. Now, of course, you know, a place like this where they're making drugs, this has to be a very sterile and clean environment with a lot of guidelines and things like that to where it's a lot of checks and balances to where it has to be have a certain level of cleanliness but not his place this guy barry cadden's lab was so nasty that mold was growing in places where these drugs were manufactured absolutely nasty place um and this dude barry he's a professional so he knew the health risks that are involved to having a nasty lab like this, okay? But what he would do is he would create fake reports uh, that would provide, you know, try to provide proofs that they were within the scope of the cleanliness guidelines because, you know, there are people who have to come out and inspect these places. There are a lot of things that have to be in order. A lot of reports have to be done that show that this lab is clean enough and everything is up to code for what is though they can make drugs because if anything goes wrong it can lead to you know straight destruction so this guy's lab so nasty that he's growing mold in the manufacturing process he bypasses the cleanliness aspect of it by creating fake reports and urging his employees and people who work for him to create fake reports in his lab uh so what ultimately happened is this guy's lab was so disgusting and filthy that the medication that he was distributing that came from his lab to other places, it was tainted with something that caused a meningitis outbreak, okay? Now, we know meningitis is a terrible thing to have. Now, this meningitis outbreak that came from his lab and the drugs that were manufactured in his lab, it affected hundreds of people and 11 people died in the state of Michigan from his drugs. This was in the year of 2012, people. In the year of 2012, but this man is just being tried in the state of Michigan just now, okay? Around this time for what happened. He was initially tried in the year of 2017 by the feds, and he was sentenced to 14 and a half years in prison. But the state of Michigan, Michigan said, okay, well, we got to try him now. And in the state of Michigan, a Michigan Michigan judge, I keep saying Michigan, right? Mich a Michigan judge just sentenced him to 10 years in prison. Now, what's crazy is, overall, there were hundreds of people that got sick from what this guy did. Actually, there were more than 700 people in 20 states who got sick to what this guy Barry did. And 64 people died overall. They were sickened with this meningitis uh, from his lab. So again, 700 people in 20 states were sick and 64 died. But in the state of Michigan, 11 people died. So he was tried by the feds 
in 2017 for the overall destruction that he caused. And he only got 14 and a half years in prison. Now, the state of Michigan said, well, we have to try you for what you did in our state, because in our state alone, we had 11 people pass away from what you did. And a Michigan judge did find him guilty and sentence him to 10 years for involuntary manslaughter. But it's going to run concurrent, people. It's going to run concurrent. So this is a slap on the wrist. So it's not like he got the 14 years from the feds and 10 years from Michigan, which is 24. No, no. He got concurrent time. So all he's going to serve is 14 years. That state time is going to run concurrent. So he's going to serve 14 years and he's out. Slap on the wrist. Here's a guy who caused over 60 deaths total. Over 700 people got sick. 11 in the state of Michigan, and no other state is trying him for this. I guess they figured, well, whatever we get is going to be like the state of Michigan. They're going to run it concurrent, so we're not going to exhaust our resources and try to hit this dude over the head when they're going to let this guy run his sentence concurrent, and he's only going to get 14 and a half years. For something that he did, people, where he knew the dangers of what he was doing, and many people got died, this guy's getting a slap on the wrist, and he's going to be able to get out because you know they're not going to put this man in the main population. He's going to get out, and he's going to be able to continue to do the sinister things that he did. I think he went in in his early 50s. He won't even be 70 when he gets out. Yeah, he won't even be 70. He won't even be 70. So he's going to get out, and he's going to be able to continue to do what he did. Probably has millions of dollars, you know, saved up from years of owning this manufacturing lab and distributing uh, these drugs. So there you go. This guy is a monster. Look at what he did. And he's going to, and he got 14 and a half years. Caused death and destruction to American people. And this is what he gets, federal crime. But a drug dealer, who a black drug dealer, can get life in prison for causing death and destruction for selling drugs. Somebody who's in a field where you're not trusted as a person anyway. You know what I mean? But this guy who's in a field where he's trusted because he owns a legal place of business that distri distributes drug, drugs, 64 people die, and because he's white, he only gets 14 years in prison. Absolutely sick. This is why nobody respects the American justice system. This is why people do what they do, and this is why when things happen, black people often say, this is too much time because it usually is because of this example right here. This guy, Barry here, he took the lives of 64 people, over 700 sick. And these sick people, of the over 720 states, you got to remember their lives. A lot of their lives are going to be different. OK, in addition to him, another one of his partners, uh, a guy named Glenn Chen. OK, one of his senior pharmacists, he was also sentenced by the feds to 10 and a half years for his role in this, one of his partners who was working with him at this place. And the state of Michigan is still yet to sentence him as well. The state of Michigan is going to try him as well. So for some reason, the state of Michigan is saying, now nah, we still going to do our thing, you know? And I think that every state should. But this is just terrible, people. All these people lost their lives behind this guy's carelessness, greed, and negligence. I think he should be executed. Me personally, I would put in put him in a wood chipper. If you are put in a position like this, I would give him much more time than a drug dealer because he's in a position where law abiding, honest people are trusting that what he's going to do is the right thing. A drug dealer, that's okey doke. That's shade business from the jump. That's street business. But this guy right here, he's trusted in his position so he can take advantage of more people who are honest people. I put him in a wood chipper, straight like that. Anyway, what kind of time would you give these guys, both of them, him and his partner, people, what would you give them for this crime they committed? Easy. 